Hello everybody! Um, so today I am doing a New Year's look for you guys. I didn't actually have time to do a Christmas look. As you can maybe tell by my voice, I'm really sick right now. I have a terrible cold. So pardon all the sniffles through the video while I'm showing you guys how to do this. Um, I'm trying to push through and still get some videos out before the end of the year. But um, I hope that you guys like this New Year's look. And um, let me know if there's any other holiday specific looks that you want to see. I'm always working on wedding looks and prom looks. And my TV just unpaused from TiVo. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, so after you've done your base and your eyebrows, the first thing that you're going to do is... I'm taking this white base. It's just uh, Taco by Sugar Pill. You can use any kind of matte white base that you want. This one's just my favorite. And you're just going to cover your entire eyelid uh, from the crease down. Okay, after you've done your eyelid, then you're just going to do your, the arch of your brow. And I usually do this before I do my eyebrows, but in the interest of saving time, I did my eyebrows first. Just if you do if you do this after your eyebrows, just be sure that you're not covering your eyebrows in the white shadow because then it makes your eyebrows look weird and powdery. So after you've done that, I'm going to take this cargo shadow. It's just a duo. It's got liner on one side, shadow on the other. And then I'm going to take my Sigma crease brush. It's uh, number E47. And I'm going to shade in the crease or my uh yeah i'm gonna cut my crease with the black and then just blend it really well towards the um bridge of my nose Just make sure that both sides are even. You can really do it as dark as you want. It doesn't have to be super defined on the bottom part because you can see I cover. <clears throat> Excuse me, I cover that up with eyeliner. So then once you're done with the black, I'm taking this. Um, it's by a company called Bath and Body. It's called Temptations, and it's a glam dust loose eyeshadow. Um, I actually got this from uh, Beauty Box, which I'm going to be doing a um, a review on. But it's a company where you can get different beauty like natural beauty products every month and this is what they sent me and I don't have anything like this and I love it it's super sparkly it's just a loose a loose eyeshadow so basically I just take a little sponge applicator this is only in a little packet because it's a sample but you just want to get a good amount on your sponge applicator and then just lightly um, kind of just tap it onto your eyelid I'm not sure if you can see on this camera how sparkly this stuff is but it's really really intense and just be careful not to go over the black because you want the black to be really matte and then the white to be really sparkly and be sure to close the pack if you have something like this um, also with the little jars if you have any sort of sparkly shadow or anything make sure the jars are really tight and don't store them sideways in your makeup um, case. I made the mistake of doing that and it unscrewed itself and now my makeup case is covered in purple glitter so just be really careful with the loose glitters. Once you're done with that you can just take a, a powder brush and just brush any of the loose glitter. If you have a hard time with fallout you can always put a loose powder underneath your eyes and then just dust it off all at once but this stuff seems to come off pretty easily so I don't do that step with this. So then after you've done that, I'm going to go back to the cargo palette, and instead of the shadow, this time I'm going to use the cream liner, and then just an angled brush. I actually don't have an angled brush like this in my Sigma, Sigma brushes, so this is just something I got at Sephora, just the Sephora angled gel liner brush. And you're just going to do a little bit on your bottom line, only about halfway in towards the center of your nose. And you also don't want to pull it all the way out, you just want to pull it almost all the way out and then when we put the little sparkle there it'll take up that space and you also want to do inside your waterline okay so once you're done with that now you're going to apply your liquid liner and I just use the same black liner by Kat Von D I do it the same as I do all the rest of my liner if you want specific instructions you can check out my pin up videos but this is how I do it. So 
So you just want your eyeliner to wing right to the end of where you started your black shadow so it all kind of goes into one. So once you've done your black shadow, now it's time to do your glitter liner. And I'm using this, um, it's just NYX, it's a NYX glitter liner. I got this at Nordstrom Rack um, on sale. I'm not sure what the actual price is, but I love it. I also sometimes use this Beauty Rush liner by Victoria's Secret, but this one that I have is kind of drying up, so I'm going to use this one today because I just got it. So basically you're just going to line the very outer corner on top of that black liner that you just did. and you want it to kind of cover the black shadow. So that you can see it over the shadow. You can do a couple of um, coats if you need to. And you can also let it dry in between coats if it's not quite dark enough. It's really hard to find um, glitter shadow or glitter liners that are really pigmented. So sometimes you just have to do a line, let it dry, do a line, let it dry, and just keep doing that until it's the thickness that you want. So that's about good. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but just on the inner corner of the underneath part of my eye. That one you don't see as much because I've already got kind of sparkly stuff on the bottom, but in person it's a lot more sparkly. Okay, so now I'm going to take these little rhinestones that I have. I have a little pack of all different colors and glue. Um, Revlon makes this. It's a little kit and it's really awesome. The rhinestones are actually really high quality so you can reuse them. Just make sure that you don't lose any of them because there's only um, between four and six of each color. So if you lose one then you're going to be odd numbered and you can't do the same thing on both sides. So I'm just going to take the glue. It comes with like a little brush. And I'm just going to do a dot in each spot that I'm going to put the rhinestones. Now I'm going to take a rhinestone and be really careful also that you don't drop these. I did this when I was doing this side and I dropped one of them under my couch and I had to go on a pilgrimage. But you just take it on your finger and just press it right where you just stuck that glue. Just make sure they're even on both sides. If the glue's not completely dry yet, you can kind of wiggle it around. For me, it's more important that you get these two even because these two you can't really tell as much when you're looking at a face straight on, but these two are so close together that if they're not even, it's really obvious. So, I don't know if you can tell how sparkly they are, but they really add a pop to your face. It's a really um, kind of pretty if you're in nighttime New Year's lighting kind of look. Once you get those on, now we're going to do lashes. I'm just taking my same mascara that I always use and just do a light coat on your lashes. You don't have to do a ton when you're laying lashes on. I just like to do a coat before I put them on so that kind of um, welds them together. And then do a nice healthy coat on the bottom. Then I'm just going to apply my lashes like I always do. Same thing if you guys want to see exactly how I apply lashes, check out my pinup makeup videos. I go into more detail. Okay, so then <clears throat> when you're waiting for that glue to dry, usually when you, after you've done all of your makeup, um, at this point, there's going to be some glitter on the crease of where you laid that black. So I just go back and I put a little bit more black on top. Just be really careful that you don't cover that line of glitter that you did on that side. There you go. So now you're even again. So while we wait for the eye glue to dry, uh, or the eyelash glue to dry, I'm going to do my blush. I just use this cheapo blush from Wet n Wild. Um, for this look, I like to use a really pinky blush versus like a red or a coral color. And just do on the apples of your cheeks. I think it looks really pretty once you add the pink lipstick to have more of a pink blush. Now I'm going to take this sketch stick by Plush um, and I'm gonna line my entire mouth. Now I'm taking this really bright pink color. It's just by NYC, cheap drugstore brand. You can really use any pink that you want. I like this one because it's kind of pearlescent. And I'm gonna take my 
trusty lip brush and I'm just gonna outline my mouth with the brush and then fill it all in with that same color. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna add this brilliant lip shine by Victoria's Secret. I'm not sure if they make it anymore, but you can really use any kind of like hot pink gloss that you can find. I really like this because it has a lot of sparkle in it and I feel like with the eyes and the lips it just all really works together. But you can really use any color you want. And I'm just going to put it right um, on the bottom, center of my bottom lip because for me I have small lips and if I put gloss on my entire mouth it starts to bleed out and it look I look like a clown. Um, and also just putting it in the bottom center makes that part of your lip shiny and it creates the illusion of bigger lips. So any trick I can do for bigger lips I'm a fan of. It's been a long Go back to that eyelash that should be dry by now and I just take my little curler and very lightly I give it a little clamp just to kind of push it into my natural lashes. You don't actually want to crease it. You don't want to have a, um, a crimp in your lashes because otherwise they'll be like when you look at your lashes from the side they'll be straight up and that looks really weird and not natural. But this just kind of helps anchor them into your lashes and for me if I do that my lashes will stay on all day and all night I can fall asleep with them on which I never do but I could and they would stay. So this is my New Year's look. I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope you guys had a really amazing Christmas season and you have a great new year. I'm really excited for some things that I'm going to be doing in the new um, the new year. 2013 is going to be a big year for me. So thank you to everybody that has been watching my videos up until this point. Um, I The last year has been crazy and I, I'm just so grateful for all the support that I've gotten on my channel. So I love you guys and have a great new year's and be safe and don't drive drunk.